Well, here I'm uh, back again this time, lying underneath the JCB 2D. Sump is now off. Um, I got confirmation of what I thought would be the problem, which is a liner, bottom line, the liner joints leaking. I put neat antifreeze in because that, that is the best to uh, look, root out any leaks on any engine as you can see there's blue there coming off number four cylinder uh, up the top there you can see it's leaking, leaking out of the the base of the cylinder liner there um, it looks in pretty good condition actually it's very clean uh, these older machines usually got a lot of gunge in the sump this one's not too bad but uh, it's definitely number four cylinders leaking the worst and the same on number one is uh, also leaking but number one's got to be removed because that's got slight piston damage so the main fault on coolant in the oil on this engine is caused by the bottom joints on number four cylinder liner uh, and also the head gasket was a bit suspect I've had the head skimmed uh, it was slightly out of true but it's now as new as you can see um, the cylinder head is off I filled the block with uh, antifreeze up to the level of the top of the block so with, with neat, the neat antifreeze as I say we'll find any leak anywhere so, uh, as you can see, the, the worst problem is on number four cylinder. So the plan is, I'm going to renew, have a, well, to get a kit, a piston and liner kit for this engine. It's a Leyland 498. And um, just do the job properly. Um, as you can see, it's, it's difficult here. Must have it must be better ways of uh, spending your day off laying underneath the JCP. But there you go, it's all fun in the restoration, isn't it? But uh, as you can see, it's uh, dripping very slowly. So uh, the next stage now is to start pulling the pistons and the liners, and then there's lots of preparation and cleaning and rebuild this engine. So. Um, See you next time.